Hello, my name is Chip Stauffer and I'm from the Henderson Police Department. The Henderson County Police Department supports the Henderson County Schools Reading Challenge. The simplest and best way to interest, interest children in reading is to read with them. This should be an important part of your child's daily home life. Research has repeatedly shown the amount of time that a child is read to at home has a direct correlation with how well the child will do, do in school. Today I would like to be a part of that challenge and read for you Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle and Gloria, Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone in Naperville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 777, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students of Naperville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome bander. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Naperville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention, and she was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered this morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. And the audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips for with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Naperville School. Every letter had a drawing of glory on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear my crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, daycares were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring her along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal of Naperville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about, how about Gloria? Could she come? 
someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Naperville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, splush. Everybody slid, smacked into Mrs. Topple who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile, let a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of an accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was one note written on a, on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday, your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101, always stick with your buddy. Keep up the good work reading. Remember to upload your reading pictures to social media and use the hashtag HCSread. Thank you.